Allow me to reintroduce myself. My name is the game. Jeremy McWilliams. Remember the name. Oh, hi. What's up, guys? Welcome to the video. Today's video is going to be another review video. What do you know? As most of you probably know, especially if you've been subscribed or watched my videos for a while now, you probably know that I spend a lot of time either in a car seat doing like delivery type videos or, you know, something else that requires me to drive somewhere, or I spend a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of time at a computer desk sitting in a computer chair editing videos or doing graphic design stuff or web design stuff or whatever other work it may be on the computer. The point is I spend a lot of time sitting in chairs. So uh, because of that, my back hurts a lot, especially my low back. It gives me problems all the time. I recently bought an inversion table, which if you don't know what that is, it looks like this. I only had it for a couple days. I actually was sitting there for a while. My girlfriend surprised me and put it together for me the other day, which was awesome. So I've tested it out for what, like two days now? So far it's been awesome. But the main problem is I'm just sitting in uncomfortable chairs way too much. And all that sitting starts to pile up and it really wreaks havoc on your spine and your back after a while, right? Everyone knows that. I'm sure a lot of you watching this have the exact same problem as far as lower back pain, especially if you work at an office job, nine to five, where you're sitting at you know a desk the majority of the day. You probably have lower back problems too. Um, so what do you do about it, right? There's a ton of things you can do about it. Go to the chiropractor, get a more comfortable chair, get one of those uh, sitting to standing desks, which are awesome. My brother has one. I should probably invest in one of those, but for now, don't have one. All I have is my desk chair and then this uh, this dude right here. So uh, another option, you can get the better car seats that have like lumbar support and all that. But what do you do if you have a standard car seat or just like a normal desk chair and you don't have extra money to blow on some fancy, expensive stuff that hopefully will help out your back? Well, hopefully this product that's sitting in the trunk right now will be an answer to all of our back problems, or at least help out. That's uh, that's the plan, that's what I'm hoping for. Before I get started, now that the intro is out of the way, I just wanna say shout out to Trevor from Backshield for hooking me up with his company's product, which is called the Backshield. Um, I don't know all too much about it, that's kind of on purpose. I didn't want to do too much research. I like to get items, get products. If companies reach out to me and they'd like me to test out their product, do a review. As long as it fits into the content of my channel, it makes sense. Everything flows smoothly. I'm not reviewing products that have nothing to do with my content or my channel. Then I'm cool with it. And if it's a product that I think is cool and I'll actually use, then even better. And that's definitely what the back shield is or what it appears to be. I haven't opened it yet. I haven't tested it out yet. That's what I'm about to do right now. The reason I don't like to do too much research beforehand, before I get these products in person, is because I want to formulate my own 100% truthful opinion. I don't wanna be biased or influenced by any reviews that I read online beforehand or uh, any videos I may watch or something like that. So because of that, I don't really do any research. Like I said, if companies reach out to me and they want me to review their products, as long as it makes sense, and it flows seamlessly into the other content on my channel, I'm cool with it. But I always like to test things out for myself. So now that we got that long intro out of the way, let me introduce you guys to, drum roll please, the back shield. Pause to build a little bit of anticipation and actually I gotta go get the back shield, so give me a sec. All right, here we go. The grand reveal. You guys ready for this? In three, two, and boom. Back shield. This is what we're working with. Just put this dude in the front seat, open the bag, pull it out, and test it out. Now let's get down to business. That's it. You got the clear bag. And this is the product. This is what it looks like. It literally looks like a shield for your back. Hence the name, Back Shield. <laughs> As you guys saw, the product was still in the packaging. So like I've already said about, what, like five times in this video, obviously this is the first time 
I've opened it, and this is the first time I'll be testing it out. So uh, you guys are kind of learning with me as I go. I'm assuming this is what the back looks like. So uh, I'm assuming this little part comes off. Yep, there we go. Take the styrofoam off. Obviously, it looks like this goes around the top of your seat, and then this one goes around the bottom of your seat. I guess you just strap it in place, and it's pretty much all there is to it. It's just basically meant to provide better support for your back, especially if you're driving, I assume, long distances or you're sitting for long periods of time and you've developed problems over the years with your lower back because of that. Hopefully, this dude, like I said, can help us out. So, strap this bad boy to the seat and see what we're working with. See how comfortable it is. See if it uh, stays in place, hopefully, because, you know, those are pretty important pieces if we're actually going to use it and if I'm actually going to recommend it. What's up dudes? Alright, let's figure the top out first I suppose. Put this around the ball. Easy enough. Looks like you basically just, you have this little buckle thing right here. I'm guessing you just push one side through, then you pull it and it should tighten it right up. Or actually I think I loosened it up so let's try going the other way. You can only go one of two ways, right? So I got a 50-50 chance of doing it right. Uh, we're making moves. The bottom part actually has a little buckle right here that snaps together. So hopefully the bottom will be a little bit easier to tighten. Well, let's find out. Bottom in. All right, much easier process on the bottom. I'm sure the top, honestly, probably isn't really too hard to figure out for a lot of you, but uh, <laughs> you guys can see I'm having a bit of difficulty with this little fastener right here. Maybe it's not supposed to go around the top. Maybe it's supposed to go like that. I think that works a lot better. I don't know. Let's try this around, maybe like right there on the seat. Let's see how that works. If this doesn't stay in place, it seems like it, it seems like it'll do a pretty good job. Well, there's definitely pros and cons of not doing your research ahead of time. I would say not knowing how to properly install this dude is a probably con. I'm sure I could check out their website and probably figure it out in like 10 seconds. But sometimes I just like to try and figure things out for myself, especially when they should be uh, pretty simple like this guy. I mean, there's only so many ways to tighten it to the seat, right? I think I got it figured out though. We'll see how well this stays in place. But for now, I'm gonna hop back in the front seat and uh, give this dude a whirl. All right. That feels good on the back, I'm gonna be honest. The extra support, at least for me, feels really nice. Uh, obviously, I haven't driven around with it too much. So uh, for the meantime, let's go uh, take a little stroll. We'll see how it holds up, make sure it's not moving around too much, and uh, just go drive to the gas station or something. Take it for a little spin around the block. I'll let you guys know how it feels. And then at the end of this little uh, test drive, if you will, I'll let you guys know, most importantly, how my back feels. Obviously, it's not gonna magically cure all of your back pain in like one day. It's just, like I said, meant to provide extra support for your back. So if you do have lower back pain, this guy should help you out. At least uh, any extra support should definitely help those long drives. Or, you know, I'm going to test it out on my uh, my desk chair too. So I think it's meant to be used in the car. But like I said, since I spend so much time sitting at a desk working on my computer, I'm going to take this guy upstairs when I'm done with this little road trip and uh, take it for a little test drive on my desk chair, maybe for like a long editing session and see how my back feels after that. Because that's what really gets my back. So far, we're only, only like 30 seconds into the, this little road trip, but uh, so far, so good. It's not moving at all. I really, really like the extra support. It's hard, I'm not gonna lie. It's, uh, it's not soft and cushiony, but it's not meant to be soft and cushiony. Like I keep saying, it's meant to provide extra support. So if you're looking for something that's uh, maybe some extra like lumbar support, which I've used in the past, those little like cushions that are maybe about like that size, you can definitely find that on Amazon or, uh, I don't know, an auto parts store or Walmart or I think I got mine at like Ross. There's so many places you can find those. Obviously, those are a lot smaller and you can position them kind of wherever you want to. They're nice. Some of them are a little bit softer. Some are a little more firmer. But personally, I found that after a while, 
they just don't really provide enough support to help in the long term. Like they feel good at first, uh, nice, soft and cushiony. I still use mine all the time, but I also have, like I mentioned earlier in this video and probably in a bunch of my other videos, I still have a lot of lower back pain that I deal with on a day-to-day -day basis that is an absolute pain in the donkey. So I'm pleasantly surprised so far. We're like one minute into our journey right now, but uh, it's not moving at all. Maybe I was right on the money with that top strap. Maybe it's not supposed to go around the uh, headrest. Maybe it's just supposed to go around the top or mid area of the seat. It seems to be working good so far though. Like I said, with all my uh, product reviews, I don't like to do too much research ahead of time for the reasons I already told you guys about. But I did visit their website real quick when uh, Trevor originally reached out to me asking me if I had any interest in checking out and reviewing their product. And I wanted to get like a basic feel of what it was, obviously. So uh, like I said, I could figure out whether or not it will flow well with my channel and whether or not it would be something that I may actually be interested in using. Because if I'm not interested in using it, I'm not gonna review it on my channel. There's no point. I'm not gonna try and push or recommend a product that I personally don't think is cool or I personally don't see any use for it. So after I checked it out, saw that it was definitely something that I'd be interested in using I read up a little bit about it on their website, which I will link down below and right here. And off the top of my head, obviously I'm driving right now, so I can't look this up, but I want to say this back shield product is listed on their website, at least like right around a hundred dollars. I might be off either way. I'll list the real price right here. So there you guys go. I don't really know what else to say about it. It's a pretty simple product. It has a pretty simple purpose. Like I've already mentioned about a million times in this video probably, to provide extra support for your back and to help those of us out that do struggle with lower back pain. I believe that is this thing's mission statement, that is this thing's goal, and so far seems to be performing very well. So, so far, big thumbs up. I think I've already given it a couple thumbs up, but uh, I like it. Feels good. <laughs> uh, that's what she said. So when I'm driving, I will definitely be using this. Come on, man, you just stole my spot. How are you gonna do me like that? If you have any questions, comments, as always, drop them below. I will do my best to answer those. And in the meantime, I will keep you guys updated on my thoughts about the back shield and uh, how it helps me. Um, come on, everyone's taking my spots, man. All right, I'm just gonna have to pretend I'm getting gas. All right, anyways, before I was rudely interrupted by uh, two people that are jacking my spots, what I think I was saying is, I'll keep you guys updated on my thoughts and feelings about this guy. Like I said, when I'm driving this car or driving my car, wherever, it seems like it's very easy to transport from one vehicle to the other. So whatever car I'm driving, I'll definitely be using this at least for the time being. And like I said earlier, I think I'll also, when I get back home, take it upstairs, put it on the old desk chair and see how it performs there. Um, I have a pretty good feeling about it though. I think it's definitely gonna help me alleviate some of my lower back problems. So between this guy, the back shield, and the inversion table that I told you guys about earlier, I think I am headed finally in the right direction as far as uh, finally taking care of my lower back pain problems. All right, guys, I'm headed back home. Actually, I had to go pick up little man from his first day of school. My little dude is a first grader. I cannot believe it. Time flies. And that's the truth. Anyways, that's pretty much a wrap for this review video. Like always, the plan was to uh, keep it short and sweet. And uh, it wasn't too short, but hopefully it was still sweet. Hopefully it answers some questions. Hopefully I opened some eyes. If you guys have never heard of this product, I know I hadn't personally until Trevor from Backshield reached out to me. So once again, shout out to Trevor. Thank you for uh, sending me one of your products so far. Two thumbs up from me. If you guys have any questions, comments, whatever, like I said earlier, please drop it below and I will do my best to answer those. With that said, that, my friends, is a wrap for this product review video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Enjoy the rest of your day. And as always, stay limitless. Take a shot, you got everything you'll ever need You fought, you're not gonna let up on the speed Those knots, they got you, are only make-believe Those